Maybe we should just take us a few seconds to breathe, to diaphragm, breathe. Be sure to use your diaphragm. Breathe deeply. Uh, deeply with the belly. Uh, the uh, Huangyang Mak. Huangyang Mak, the diaphragm. Uh, mammals diaphragm breathe. Reptiles do not. Reptiles do not have a diaphragm. Some of them have something similar to it, but it's not a true diaphragm. Some of them have nothing similar to it, but anyway, there's something different about how reptiles breathe. Mammals breathe in this special way, diaphragm breathing, and you'll find out more about that. But there's more, there's more to the story even than this, the difference between mammals and reptiles. So here's something that the ordinary person would never think of, but it's the first thing that the zoologists think of, the specialists of the animal kingdom would immediately, if you would say, what's the difference between mammals and reptiles? Their first thought would be something that you have never heard of in your whole life, I bet. And that is that mammals have a single jawbone. Usually they think in terms of the skeletal structure and how the bones are, are uh, fit together and, and that's what they think of, the skeleton. Because, well, if you look at fossils, well, that's what comes up. Uh, so that's probably why. So uh, if they look through deep time, then you look at fossils. So the uh, zoologists would think of this first. Maybe you didn't know this. Mammals have a single jawbone. Well, that's not a surprise to you. I mean, you probably thought this was one jawbone. But uh, reptiles have more than one bone to their jaw. Uh, two, three, four, anyway. More than one. They have a few bones to their jaw. And this is the big, big difference as far as zoologists are concerned. And uh, what happened to those bones is something of great interest, too. Because uh, what instead of having a, a few bones to the jaw, uh, mammals instead have something quite strange. They have three middle ear bones instead. Oh, I, I want to move on to something uh, else, but that, this is a big deal. Mammals have three middle ear bones, but other things uh, like reptiles, do not. And uh, this will be a thing of great interest that we'll save for later because I want to move on to something else. I want to consider how reptiles are different from amphibians. How are reptiles different from amphibians? To kind of wrap up our lesson for today. How are reptiles different from amphibians? Well, if we go back about a third of a billion years ago, 330 million years ago, this is a long time ago, long before there was ever such a thing as any dinosaurs, way, way back, completely different world, there were amphibians, big amphibians, amphibians as big as small cars, and they were the kings of the forest on land, amphibians, with these big fat heads and real short necks, these big fat torsos and short legs and long tails. They, they look nothing like what you see today. And they were the kings of the forest. But there were some small animals that uh, developed something brand new in the world. And this was a big deal. The advent of the eggshell. This made a huge difference. That's what reptiles have that amphibians do not. Amphibians, you know, they lay their eggs in water. They need to have water to lay their eggs in or their babies have no chance. Well, reptiles, they don't have to worry about that because they have an egg shell. Amphibians have eggs, sure, but they ain't got the egg shell. That allowed reptiles to lay their eggs wherever, which was a great thing on land, especially if it was uh, drier conditions. One other thing, though, uh, amphibians have breathing skin. 
It helps if their skin is wet. You see, the wetness is good for amphibians. It helps in more ways than one. And they can breathe with their skin. Usually they need other things too, but this helps. This helps them a lot with their breathing. They breathe right through their skin. How do they do that? It's amazing. Well, uh, reptiles don't breathe through their skin, but they instead have scaly skin. And this keeps their, uh, their water in. So... Uh, if conditions are drier, reptiles will do much better. Their babies can live, can be born and hatch okay, and uh, their scaly skin keeps them uh, alive in drier conditions longer. So that's uh, briefly then the differences, and that'll be it for how those are different from these for today.